the more muscle mass you have on your body, the higher your metabolic rate is, and the higher your rate is, the more calories you burn throughout the course of the day. Hey guys, I'm Martin McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I wanna to give you probably the three best fat burning workouts you can do, especially for us guys over 50. Now there's lots of crazy stuff going on out there on the internet, so don't believe everything you see. I'm gonna basically stick with three tried and true methods, guys, and, and I'm gonna give them to you in reverse order ranking. So the best one's gonna be the last and the least effective one's first, but the least effective, the first one, is still really good for you, and it's great for beginners. But, but these, are, these are just real straightforward, kind of common sense workout techniques that everybody needs to know about, especially us guys over 50. Real quick before I get into the three workouts, I wanna remind you we got a fantastic Facebook group. Please click the link below this video and join. You don't have to use your real name. You don't have to post any pictures of yourself. Just absorb all the goodness that's going on in there. I'm the moderator. I'm in there answering questions. We have over 21,000 members now. Super great, guys. I promise you guys will not regret it. And then secondly, help us spread the good word about this YouTube channel, all right? Please give us the thumbs up like down there right on underneath this video and then share it with your buddies. Those things really help the ranking of this channel and it makes YouTube share it with far more men around the world. And that's what we're just trying to do. We're trying to spread the word, all right? So like, share and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. All right, so the first workout style that you guys need to consider when you're, when you're you know, over 50 is just walking. All right, I know that sounds incredibly boring and easy for a lot of guys, but trust me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into it just real, real quick here. It's, it's way more effective than you think. And this is fantastic for guys who are just beginning. All right, who don't think that they can just do anything. All right, so it might have been decades since you have worked out or run or jogged or done anything. And you're like, man, there is no way I'm going to be able to do Mark's Fit After 50 program. All right, so walking is a fantastic way to start. So if you didn't know, when you're walking briskly, you know, you don't, I'm not talking about super fast, but just kind of with, with a purpose in mind, you burn about 150 calories per mile. And that should only take you 20 minutes. You can, you can walk one mile in 20 minutes. All right, so it's a fantastic way to get out of the house, get outside, maybe get some sun if, it, if it's nice weather. Doesn't matter. And then, like, when I play golf with my buddies, one of the things that we do, because we're always, you know, my buddies are my age, um, we're trying to look for ways to burn, you know, calories also. And so a lot of times we walk and carry our bags. So when you walk 18 holes of golf, you burn about 1,500 calories, all right? And one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. So you're burning almost a half a pound of fat just playing 18 holes of golf. And in Europe, all right, if you go to Scotland or England or someplace like that to play golf, everybody walks. Golf carts are, are really frowned upon over in Europe. Matter of fact, some golf courses make you give them a doctor's notice, otherwise they won't let you take a golf cart. So we've become way too lazy and fat here in the United States, all right? We don't walk enough, and walking is fantastic, not just for beginners, all right? You're gonna be surprised to hear that serious, professional, young bodybuilders, guys in their 20s and early 30s, also walk, all right? When they're getting ready for a contest, they gotta get down to you know one or 2% body fat. And so they like to walk every day to burn off extra calories, all right, without losing muscle mass. So if they get too radical with their cardio workouts, their body will actually burn muscle, all right, because they got so few carbs coming into their body every day through their nutrition, all right? So that's not gonna be you per se, but if you're just starting off and you're really overweight and you're worried about, you know, your knees, your back, your ankles, your heart. Walking is a fantastic way to start. All right, so the second best way, guys, to work out if you're over 50 is HIT style. 
And when I say hit, I mean H-I-I-T. All right, that stands for high intensity interval training. All right, now, this is not for beginners, all right? <laughs> and it's a sprinter mentality, all right? And it's a cardio style of working out. Um, I like doing it because it's real time efficient, all right? You know, if you wanna, if you wanna walk, and you want to, you know, go three miles, that's an hour, okay? To just get in three miles, that's, you know, 450 calories. It takes a full hour. Well, doing hit style workouts means you're going really hard, like sprinting, doing something. You could literally be sprinting. You could be on the elliptical at the gym, pumping as hard as you can, all right? You might be on the rowing machine going as hard as you can for only 15 to 20 seconds. Then you stop and catch your breath for the remainder of that minute. So if you're going really hard for 15 seconds, then you rest for the next 45 seconds and catch your breath, and then you do it all over again. All right? So, so HIT is a real intense way to do cardio. But the beauty of it is it's very compact. It doesn't take a long time to do, okay? And... The, the other thing, the other side benefit is it creates something called the EPOC effect, and that's spelled E-P-O-C, all right? Another acronym, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Anyway, when you push yourself real, real hard like that, get your heartbeat really high, and you get really exhausted out of breath from, from that sprinting, it creates a lot of lactic acid in your muscles. And then, of course, that sends signals to your brain to ramp up production of testosterone. And that's a whole other video. I've shot a bunch of testosterone videos and all the, all the good things that come with raising our testosterone. But it also raises your resting metabolic rate for several hours after the workout's over. Okay? Which means you might do a HIIT workout for only 15 minutes or so. All right? You stop. Your heart rate comes back down, your breathing comes back down, but your metabolism stays slightly elevated for another two, three, five, ten hours, depending on how long and how hard you did it. And that higher metabolic rate means you're naturally going to continue to burn more calories per minute than you would if you had done a traditional cardio workout, like just going out and jogging steady state or walking. All right. So that is a great way to basically ramp things up, and that is doing a hit style workout, but it ain't for beginners. All right, I saved the best for last. Number three, resistance training. Guys, I've said this in lots of my other videos, but as we get older, I believe resistance training becomes even more and more important. All right, so when you're in your 20s, if you don't lift weights, if you don't do resistance training, you're still gonna have a fair amount of muscle mass on your body, okay? It's just kind of natural. But as we get older, that really starts to dwindle. Part of the reason is because we produce less testosterone as we get older, and that's just a, that's just a natural thing. And there's lots of different ways we can kind of fight that decline in testosterone production, but that's not this video. Resistance training helps elevate your testosterone level. Resi resistance training doesn't just make your muscles bigger. It makes your tendons and ligaments stronger. It makes your joints stronger, and it makes your bones stronger. All right, how many of you guys have friends, older friends, that are in their 70s or 80s, and they just trip over a little crack in the curb and they break their hip? I mean, that is a lot of times due to never doing resistance training. So if you're lifting weights as you get older and older, it literally does keep your bones stronger. So you're far less likely to really get injured, okay? And so there's lots of benefits. I mean, it's not just about building muscle, okay? You know, the testosterone level goes up, you have more energy, more focus, you sleep better. The more muscle mass you have on your body, the higher your metabolic rate is and the higher your rate is, the more calories you burn throughout the course of the day. And of course, that means less body fat. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, it helps with your balance and your coordination. So guys, resistance training is the number one best way to burn fat over the age of 50. All right, those are three simple, 
straightforward ways to burn fat, guys. Everybody can do all of those three different methods. Unless you're a beginner, then doing number two is going to be kind of tough for you. But you can work your way up into hit style workouts. It won't take you but a few months. But guys, you can't just do it occasionally. You got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.